today I'm going to show you some exercises regarding um, um, uh, five operation in C. So in C, we're going to be able to open streams into files um, uh, to read and to write data to files. Um, we have sort of the types of file operations we want to work on um, um, characters, input and characters output today. So we'll start with the first one with the characters. Um, 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 input so we'll create new project console application so we want to name this one let's say character um, um, input okay then uh, copy this one go up create new folder now well, let me just go to yeah uh, our get a folder then just let's just get, get back to that one then um, create new folders, paste it here, correct just input, open, um, okay, then um, let's, let's just go to that folder, I don't know which one that I created, so go to C, EPC, and character, character input, okay, in the same folder here, I'm gonna um, open notepad, Okay, I want to open Notepad. Okay, and type uh, let's say um, A B C D. Okay, I'm um, just, just type A B C. So then I want to save this into. I'm gonna save into that folder. Uh, that folder will be in C. Then A B C characters input. I want to name it as let's say dash. Okay. Click on save. So we have three characters to read in this file. Okay, and that folders, and we're gonna go. So in order to, um, in order to read, we're gonna, we're gonna um, open the stream to the file. Open stream, stream to the file. Okay, so we need to open a stream to that file in order to read the data. Save this file. Now, in order to open the stream, uh, there is a, um, a structure called um, file there, okay, and that's equal to f open. We're gonna use f open um, in order to open a file. Then you keep the um, absolute path of the file, or you can just keep the name of the file here in, in relative path. And I'm using relative, and they're in the same folder, so I'm gonna use um, dash dot um, txt. Then we're gonna open it to um, read. So I'm gonna use R for the read mode. Okay. Then um, after that, we're going to open. Um, it's always good practice to close the stream to the file. Okay. So we're gonna use F close for file close. I'm gonna close that test stream. Okay. That, that's a um, 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 prime pointer. Okay. Then um, in order to uh, read, I'm gonna read first character. So I'm gonna use character um, um, C1 C1 equal to um, 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 get the characters from um, um, that file. Okay. Similarly, I'm gonna uh, then I'm gonna bring the first characters C uh, C1. Okay. Similarly, um, I'm going to similarly I'm going to copy this and paste it to read second character to read the third characters. Okay. Okay. So first character, you're gonna read second characters. You're gonna read the third characters and bring all of them. First character, second character, and third characters. So we're gonna try to run this program. So let's just look back. You have like A, B, C. You have three characters. So we're gonna try to um, um, run it. I'm trying to run it. Okay. Okay. You see, you you now able to read A, B, C from that far up. Okay. But then you you will see you will see that. Okay, we have three characters, so we're gonna read it three times. How if we're gonna have like thousands of characters? Are we gonna read manually this way? Okay, so um, we are of course not gonna read that manually. So there is a way. So 
in C, if you read the last character, okay, if, if you read um, the, the after last character is read, and if you read once more, it's gonna return your characters, which is called an alpha character. Okay, it's gonna call an alpha characters. So let's say you just try to read the, the fourth time. You're going to try to read the fourth time, even you have only three characters. So to see what's going on, so this one is character number four. Okay, this is character number four. Okay, and if you run, you'll see. Okay, if you run, you'll see. You see only ABC. Okay, because this one doesn't print anything, and this this, this characters is gonna be again N of five character. Okay, N of five character. So, I mean, give an example. Um, I wanna be able to check if C four equal to E O F means N of five characters. Okay, and in this case, you're gonna be able to print up. Okay, N of five. So if you run this one, you'll see that if you you have three characters, okay, if you have three characters, and you read once more, you you won't be able to read that NFR. So that it's gonna show you here rich NFR characters, okay. So this time, what we are gonna do is that we are gonna be able to um, use this trick, okay. So we're gonna do something like this. We'll do something like this, okay. So we gonna do. We're gonna do something like this. So keep reading Y one. Okay, means keep reading. Okay, keep reading. Okay, so we gonna cut this one out. Okay, then you gonna then you gonna check if. Okay, this one is C. Okay, if C is equal to N of five, we're gonna break. In finish screen. Otherwise, we're gonna print it. Okay. Otherwise, we're gonna print it. So, otherwise, we cannot print it. So, if you run this one now, if you run this one now, okay. Uh, let's, let's see. Or this one is C, not C one. Okay. So, if you run this one. Okay, you could get all the uh, text over there, and and of course, uh, you know, it, it it is flexible. So if you change something here, it's gonna still our program gonna work. Okay, still our program gonna work. See, so we um, could successfully um, use um, um you know, read um, um data from we could successfully read data from a file using characters input. Okay, in the next video, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to write characters down to the file using um, characters output, okay? Bye-bye.